Down at uh, Elter Water Village today. But we've got a nice uh, circular walk planned. Hopefully, we'll see a couple of waterfalls. Maybe we'll have a look in the cathedral caves as well. Really nice backdrop there, the Langdale Valley. And Elter Water, say one of the smaller of the Lake District's lakes. Very, very quiet and very, very peaceful today. This is my man in the drink. I said it's still only early, about half ten in the morning, but it's getting warm and there's uh, not a breath of wind either. Well, we got to cross here, but I think we'll have a wander down here first, see and see what the falls are like. So it has been very, very dry. Pick the right weather. And that is some sight. Unfortunately, not today. <laughs> Unusual for you to miss a seat. <laughs> Coolness in the woods. Out the way the sun. I'll tell you something, this uh, shade is very, very welcome because it's uh, it's getting really warm with no breeze. Oh. Yeah, so Mrs. Metalman's been looking forward to doing this walk today. That's where we're heading next, Colworth Bridge. And there should be a nice waterfall there as well. So we're just having uh, five minutes in the shade. <laughs> this uh, tropical weather is no good to us up north. We're not used to it. You can see the path going out there and it's uh, out in the full sun. It drains me, I must admit. So every opportunity we get to have a sit down, we're taking it. Where we uh, walked around this morning, around Elta Water. Again, a very pleasant path to walk around. We just keep stopping every time we see a bit of shade. Because, uh, whew, it's getting really warm now. Complaining. Get about seven months of the year of miserable weather up here. So, when you get some nice weather, got to embrace it. Change my GoPro battery. The team leaders abandoned us. Where is that? Skinny minis only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me most likely when I try and get through. <laughs> uh, fantastic views over there. And hopefully we're getting a bit of shade from that uh, cloud up there. But so far, Mrs. Metalman's loving it. Now there's a little bit here where you've got to. Uh, go up on the road, not for very long, not even 100 yards, and then, and that's the turn off there. So through the little gate, and you can go straight up there, which is where the walk goes. If you follow where Mrs. Metalman's going, that'll take you down to Colworth Force, the waterfall. A little bit of a scramble up here. So a nice little secluded little path, Colworth Waterfall. <laughs> Oh, I should say a trickle today because basically that's all we've got. So that's a bit disappointing. Having said that, still a very scenic spot that we're going to uh, have a bit of a lunch stop here. Maybe just have about half an hour here, just chilling out. So I'll the form. This is that man is uh, bringing out some crisps. So uh, this is why I'm not hungry. So we did have it all to ourselves for about two minutes. <laughs> so that's the way we came down there, but this is the way we'll go up here. Okay. Yeah. Viewing area here. You've got to use your imagination today, unfortunately, because I say it is just a trickle today. But normally there's an absolute torrent of water coming all the way down there. Another money tree. Yeah. Oh, well, this must have been for years. Yeah. So the further viewing platform where you see the waterfall, like we've already said, it's just a trickle today. Mrs. Metal Man's starting to blow a bit, but when the team leader starts to flag, you know it's getting tough. I did promise two waterfalls, which we've had. It hasn't been as uh, 
spectacular as I would have liked. Hopefully we'll uh, find the caves before long. Out in the open valley again. Now as well as the caves that I mentioned before, there was a tea rooms down here. That is it over there, I'm sure it is. But them views over the mountains, absolutely sensational. But yeah, we did have a bit of a break there before, but uh, it's always room for a little bit more. I should imagine that Kerry from uh, Drunk on Wanderlust should recognise this place. And I wonder if she stopped here. It had to be done. It had to be done. Right, can we switch off? Give us five minutes, please. Yeah, so High Park Farm. So get there early if you want the uh, cream tea. So we're off there now again. Down here, somewhere's the caves. The sky's still looking overcast, but it's making it for a very pleasant walk on there now. Look at them views. <laughs> Padlock the gate there, but there's a, a sty to get over there, so we'll get over there and we'll have a look in the caves. So, there are guys that used to work in there, you can see the tools that they, they uh, had to use in them days. So, these are the caves, which should lead us into a, a big cavern. Uh, normally, when I come here, we might have talked to ourselves, but uh, not a day, but it's something. Oh, it's nice and cool in here, is it not? Yeah. So it really is an amazing sight in here. The size of the cavern, and like Mrs. Metalman just said, it looks like somebody's put a window in there. Acoustics are brilliant, and uh, just like last time, I might even break into song. I'm just a poor. We're man. I was like to embarrass Mrs. Metal Man, there's somebody else here. Well, this is the story here of the monster goldfish. So it's supposed to be the, about the size of a, a giant pike there now. Do you want to go in there just to see if you can see anything? <laughs> and that is some cavern. And most people just walk right past it because they don't know it's here. I mean, it's absolutely amazing it's made to think that these uh, tunnels are man-made and the tools they had in them days and through there we've got that do a bit more climbing there and you can get out that way and I have seen people actually rock climbing up there before Very nice little detour there. It's literally two minutes off the, the main path there. And this will lead us down into, we'll go over Slater's Bridge, two or three hundred yards down from the, the caves. And there's the bridge there. And at the moment, nobody there.
just got a quick five minutes here and uh, before we move on because the uh, sun's broke through again it's getting really warm again so we just come up from uh, Slater's Bridge you can circle round right the way around there which me and Mrs Metalmat did last time but this is a bit of a shortcut where and that's how narrow the road is I would not fancy being the postman delivering around here on these roads so thank me there's not a great deal of traffic coming down here but what we have got is plenty of places like that oh look at that sunny bank cottage very nice just when i say there's no traffic another car comes not recommended for cars i agree with that this is absolutely ice cold We've gone off the road there now, which was, to be honest, was only a couple of hundred yards. Uh, one and a half miles, and as I, again, as I remember, it's a nice, quiet little walk. Yeah, Mrs. Metman's really enjoyed the day. It's uh, been a bit warm for her. Final push now, final push. This lane's going on and on and on forever. Because uh, it's so rubbly and rocky, I'm going to be very careful. But the end of a, another very, very enjoyable walk out. I've really enjoyed it. About five and a half hour walk, and I think we've just done under eight miles. Got about 400 yards away from the car park, and for the first time, uh, I went against my uh, team leader's uh, directional advice, and we took a wrong turn. <laughs> when will I ever learn? If you've uh, watched the video all this way, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you enjoyed it, please uh, click on the like button and consider subscribing. It won't be very long before we're both out again. Cheers.